couple months ago, I joined a photography Discord, and then within that Discord, there was this subfolder called Critique. And basically, all these photographers would, you know, throw their photos in there, and then everybody within that community would kind of just, you know, give their feedback on it. And I uploaded a series that I did recently, and, uh, and I got a bunch of love on it, and a lot of people actually really liked it, but I actually also got a lot of questions. Um, a lot of photographers that were in there were like, how did you accomplish this? How did you get, you know, the, how did you get the movement to look like this? Um, so I decided that I wanted to make a video on showing you guys exactly how I do that. So right now I am waiting for my model who seconds as my girlfriend. Well, I guess she's my girlfriend who seconds as my model. Uh, we're going <laughs> to... We're gonna take you guys out and uh, show you exactly how to accomplish this exact look. All right, so we have, we've acquired the package. Hmm? <laughs> I said we acquired the package. package. She's here. I, I would say that these photos have like a real mood to them. I think to accomplish that mood or to kind of like really What's the word? To really just help with the aesthetic of the photo. Um, I went with, I decided that I think that she should wear something like this. Um, I think that it's going to just be a really nice contrast. Here, come, come more in the sunlight. I think it's gonna be a really nice contrast with the kind of like green grass that we have here. Um, I definitely say, I definitely think that Earth tones work the best with this style of photo. Um, I think that if you're, you know, blacks really work work, uh, work really, really well. I remember probably one of my favorite photos that I did in this kind of style was with a girl, a model that I had, and she actually had red hair. It's the first time I ever worked with a red hair model and they came out really, really good. Um, she kind of, she was very fair skinned and uh, I don't know, I think it just really, I think that was probably like my favorite one that I, that I took. Um, but you want something that's really flowy. So I think that like, again, having a dress, having a kind of open the dress up, having a dress that moves a lot really helps. Um, something that, yeah, that, that, that the model can kind of play with and pick up with their hands and move around and just give you that nice flow. Um, obviously when the wind blows, it, it moves by itself, which is really, really nice too. Um, so I think that generally speaking, you want to have something flowy, pretty nice and there's really two ways to accomplish this type of photo uh, the first way is kind of actually just staying still uh, so the model just kind of stands directly in front of you and she kind of moves you know her body while you just stand still and you just take the photos of her you know it comes out pretty good uh, and that's kind of how i started off doing it but what i found works really well is actually moving with the model so usually i'll, I'll actually have my model run in one direction and I'll be following them in that same direction running with them. You get some really cool blur um, and again you just kind of kind of have to have them moving their body, you know, lifting the dress, putting their arms above their head, stuff like that. Um, it really really just I, I think enhances the the moodiness of the photo. Um, and one other thing too is a lot of times something that I notice a lot is uh, Sometimes you take the photos and then you bring them back in your, you know, editing program, Lightroom or whatever, and you don't like the way that they look. And you haven't even put an edit on them. There's nothing on them. These are just raw out of the camera and you just hate the way that they look. Um, I personally think, hopefully this wouldn't isn't too bad. I personally think that your photo, a lot can happen in the editing that really will enhance it. So sometimes I'll bring a photo that I really, you know, I'll, I'll have the photos, all the photos that I took and I'll put them in. And then, you know, I'm looking at that and I'm like, man, these are terrible. I hate all of these, but I'm telling you, don't just delete them. Put, find one that you really like and edit it exactly the way that you want it to look. And then take that edit and copy and paste it onto one that you don't like. A lot of times the edit can truly, truly enhance that photo and make a photo that looks kind of lackluster really, really pop. Something else I wanted to mention really quickly is you have to have uh, a continuous shutter. So 
something to note is you gotta have it on continuous. You just wanna you just wanna be able to hold down that shutter and just have the photos take and take and take and take and take. You don't wanna have to keep individually pressing down the shutter every single time. just do those those movement photos I think we're actually gonna do uh, some just some general stills there's kind of like this cool this is actually George Washington's headquarters um, or at least part of them this is what is this again this isn't George Washington's headquarters what is this yeah so this is apparently a camp that George Washington and his men stayed in um, and it's kind of old and abandoned and just looks kind of cool um, so we're I'm thinking that we're just gonna take some general stills there too so got a little too cold uh, so we're leaving <laughs> but hey I think we caught I think we caught some good photos it got very windy out so uh, I don't blame her she's she's just in a in a dress that's probably meant more for the summertime um, and as of the recording of this it's still pretty cold out we're just kind of transitioning into that spring period so uh, it's definitely the skies are blue and the snow is all gone but it's definitely not uh, warm out for sure um, but I think that we captured some good photos and uh, she's a trooper anyway, so can't be too mad at her. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys. I think I'm gonna actually do some edits with you guys. Um, so I'll see you guys back at the computer. All right, so now we are back in Lightroom. I offloaded the card and I all I did was just kind of five star a few of the um, images that I really liked just to showcase just the type of image that we're going to create here. So basically, um, I am a big advocate for using presets. I know that some people get kind of up, up in arms about it and they don't like presets. Um, I personally don't care. I think that presets are great. And um, obviously you still have to have a somewhat working knowledge of your editing software. You can't just you know, throw on your preset and then say, okay, it's perfect. A lot of the times you are going to still have to manipulate a lot of it. So um, having a general basic understanding of how to actually edit, uh, I think is going to obviously still be a crucial part. But um, I just find that using presets just makes my workflow much quicker and I can just output images faster. So personally, I have been using the RNI uh, Lightroom presets. So I think that they're really really good um, obviously you can see prices they're not super cheap uh, they do have a demo here um, and it, it's obviously free so you can check that out for yourself if you feel like you really want to but uh, yeah overall I think that uh, I think it's a really good product and I think that um, for my style of photography and I like the film look um, I think that it works really, really well for me personally. Obviously, uh, everybody has a different aesthetic, so if you have presets that you like, then go for it, but I'm just letting you know that these are the ones that I personally use. All right, so let's get back to Lightroom. All right, so now that we are back in Lightroom, um, I'm going to go through some of my favorites over here of what uh, what type of, you know, the presets that I like the most. Um, Obviously, you can see that when you hover over it, it gives you kind of a preview as to what that preset's going to look like. Uh, and also, the cool thing about this is that the cool thing about this preset pack is it's not just uh, presets as edits. There's other things like um, borders, like film borders, stuff like that. Uh, there's tons and tons of green, which I imagine that we are going to be using at least one of those grains because uh, Lightroom, the built in Lightroom on grain, I'm not a big, big fan of. Um, so anyway, this is one of the images that I really like uh, that I thought would look good. So let's go through and see what we got here. So just kind of hovering over. Let's see. 
I find I tend to go to this Kodachrome generic V muted faded four a lot. Um, I don't know. That's just the one that I tend to to use the most often. So let's uh, just start off with that one, um, and let's see where that can take us. So first thing I know right off the bat is I'm definitely going to have to lower these highlights. Um, these highlights are killing me, and I think that the highlights are really kind of ruining the image. I always tend to prefer to shoot in more uh, overcast weather when I'm doing this style of photo, but um, it just wasn't the weather. So, you know, it is what it is, and I'm not going to let the weather... I'm not, I'm not going to just wait for perfect conditions to go out and shoot, because then you're never really going to go out and shoot. So you're going to have to just kind of deal with what it is. So, um, all right, so let's go down to the highlights here and let's drop down these probably a pretty significant amount. Um, might be too much. All right, let's start there. We'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm pretty happy with the exposure and the contrast. I don't think I'm going to really mess with that. I think I might actually bring up the vibrance just a little um, just to kind of give it a little bit more pop. I don't know. We might bring that back down. Um, and I'm probably going to want to up the shadows a bit. Yeah. That's the before already. And that's the after, as you can tell, we're already making decent progress. I think I'm going to probably add a fade to it well maybe maybe not we'll see um one thing i know right off the bat though for sure is i'm definitely gonna want to change out some of these colors i really want her dress to kind of be a little bit more saturated i guess let's see Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's, I think that's pretty good. Um, just to kind of give her more of a pop, we might desaturate that a little bit more. Um, so I think changing the U to just be more in that orange scale helps that dress pop a bit more. Um, the yellows, which I would assume that if we touch these greens, not much is going to happen. Eh, just a little. I assume that the yellows are going to really be where the grass is going to change a lot. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. I'm going to probably crank that all the way up. And then, then we can actually mess with the real saturation. Um, so yeah, that dress is definitely popping, but I like the color of the dress now. I think it looks much better. But I think the saturation needs to come down a hair. And probably same deal with the grass. All right, um, let's mess with the luminance a little bit on these two. Yeah, I see. See what's happening right there with her with the highlights on her dress. When I'm, you know, when they're up, when when this luminance is up all the way, it, it, there's a lot a lot of that sun hitting that dress, and then when we bring it down, we start losing that. Uh, I think I want to lose that a bit. I think that's pretty good. And then same deal. I think, I think these kind of the luminance of the grass here, all this, all this white, all this really kind of super, uh, you know, all the highlights in these grass, I think are kind of killing us a bit. So let's drop those down. Yeah, that's, I think that's probably pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's turning out pretty good. Um, so I think we're missing something though. What 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 are we missing? Something is. Oh, the grain. I think the grain is going to add a lot to it. So um, if I slide down over here, and we go to grain, I'm probably going to want some fairly more larger, just to. Yeah. Like probably like 800 large so now look how dirty that image looks <laughs> i know that it looks 
Um, I think we're almost done. So I think I'm still going to want to actually add that fade to it. Yeah, I think that fade adds a lot. Um, yeah, now we're looking like how I want it to look. So as you can see, just from that before and after, I mean, this is what we were dealing with. This is where we're at. Um, you know what? Let's just add one of those film borders around it just to, yeah, I mean, I'm actually really happy with this. I think that this looks really good. Um, I think that we probably could afford to maybe mess around a little bit with the sky and maybe make the blues a little bit, but overall I'm actually really happy with this. Um, so I'm going to copy that and let's drop it on to the next one. Let's just see how we feel. So the great thing, of course, is once you have one edit, generally speaking, right, a lot of these photos were taken in the same exact light because they were just all taken in succession with one another. So uh, you can pretty much just copy and paste your your edits on them, which is really, really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one, too. Uh, I think so. These these photos here were the ones where, where Jess was just standing and just kind of moving her body. She wasn't actually moving with I wasn't running with her like you guys saw. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, these are looking really good. Eh, yeah, let's just see. You know what? That's kind of a perfect example. I didn't really love the way that this photo looked without the edit. Uh, as you can probably tell by the way, I was like, eh. <laughs> but now here we are. And throwing that edit on it again just really kind of enhances it and changes the whole feel of it. So that's kind of what I was mentioning before about how don't just assume that you that you hate the photo and don't throw any edits on them. Like, please find ones that you th that that you like and find ones that maybe you don't like, but maybe you feel like have some potential because this one I think looks much better with an edit than without the edit. Um, let's see. Okay, so she's still standing still. I think that for whatever reason, this one I'm probably gonna bring the shadows up a little more just around her face yeah so um something else that i notice a lot of times is i personally like a lot of the ones where i can still kind of make out my model's face in these um i mean yeah the ones where she's looking away from the camera look really cool and really moody um obviously jess has really long hair so the hair moving and separating in the wind and all that looks really good but i feel like Sometimes we can benefit a lot from her also being able to see the face. Um, all right, so let's kind of move down to, what's this one though? Yeah, so that looks cool. I think that the dress kind of shooting out on that angle and then her arms above her head look really good. So if we throw that on, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think that looks great. <laughs> I do, I really think, I'm really, I'm actually really happy with the way these came out. Um, so now if we get into this section of the photos, this is where Jess was kind of running and I was running with her. Um, we can tell that there's just a lot more movement in these t in this photo here. I mean, look at the grass, right? So if we compare the grass from that photo where it's just obviously, you know, pretty still to then this photo, you can see that I was, I was moving with her uh, because just look how blurry everything is, but Jess is still really pretty much in frame and you know, you can still make out her face, which is cool. Um, I five star that one. I'm not loving it, but maybe I should use practice what I'm preaching and still throw that edit on there just because maybe it'll, I'll like it more after it comes out. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, I like it more. I don't still not my favorite for sure, but I think it's obviously better than without the edit. Um, this one has potential for sure because I think the hair and her really kind of the legs really outstretched could really help us. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think that looks really cool. Um, I think, you know, one thing that I mentioned about the overcast weather was that um, I like to shoot in the overcast. But if at the end of the day, I do think that there is a benefit of shooting in weather like this because you do kind of get that contrast with the blue sky. Um Obviously, if it was overcast, all this would just look gray and kind of blown out, but the lighting would be much more even here, but I don't actually mind the uh, the lighting with 
casting all these kind of harsh shadows, I think it actually kind of adds a lot to the photo. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, it's just, again, one of those things where you got to get out of like your comfort zone and you have to just go out and shoot because you might surprise yourself, uh, and learn that, you know, you might learn some things about, you know, you've been shooting this style of photo, like in this very spe specific way, but now, uh, but now we take it into a, another kind of environment and you might be happy with it. So, so that we changed locations here. I mean, we're still in the same location, but we, we changed the direction. So now we're getting much more sky. So I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to turn out. Um, let's paste that and let's see how that's coming out. My computer's running pretty slow. I'm running like 15 different things to record this video. I got the screen recording and the video editor and then this. So it's kind of, this is pretty taxing on my computer. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like that. Again, we could probably benefit a little bit from raising up those shadows just a bit on her face. But I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. That's pretty much it for this video. I think we showed, I kind of showed exactly what I wanted to show. Um, I'm going to keep ed editing and I'll showcase some of my favorites out of this little series that we did. But um, generally speaking, for the most part, that's it. So at this point, I would just export as normal, right? I would, um, oh, this one has potential. Hold on. This one, this one could look really cool. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's really, really nice. I think we got some good photos. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to export a few of these, um, the, some of my favorites, and I'll kind of show them. Um, but generally speaking, that's it. I mean, again, I'm not being paid by R&I to mention them at all, but I do think that they are worth it if you guys are kind of into the same type of aesthetic. Um, again, there's a free demo that you guys can check out. Uh, and generally speaking, I think that's it. So um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, um, and hope you enjoy this. Hope you enjoyed this little series, and hope you learned something. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.